Hello, I'm Dieter Loosemore and welcome to a solo playthrough of Tussie Mussy. This is including the Flower Shop expansion, which is basically just six cards here which allow me to play it solo. It will tell me, I'll be the first one to show how each turn will set up. So in this case it says deal two cards face up and then it gives me a choice on how to draft these cards. I will draft some for myself and some for the opponent. So this is my favorite kind of solo game where my decisions create my scoring as well as my opponent's scoring. So I've got to do double thinking here. Now, if you don't know the game, when I choose these cards, I'm going to choose, well, this one particularly gives me the choice to either place the one I choose face up or face down in either what they call my bouquet or as a keepsake if it's face down. And they will score slightly differently depending on how they are used. So let's see. Three points if you have no hearts or two points and but a before scoring you must discard one of your other cards. So my fake opponent do not activate any before scoring. Um, effects and they score two points for this and there's a couple that say may they automatically score two points for those because they don't get the effect but three points if you have no hearts i don't think they're going to get um so i can either place it where we both get them as part of the bouquet for the sake of this this is my area that's my opponents or i can place them both as keepsakes that's what face up is bouquet face down is keepsakes i'm going to place them face up because i have no reason not to at the moment so i do this deal one face up and one face down, so I do not know what this is, but if I were to choose this option, the second option here, um, it would allow me to reveal this and flip it. So this one says one point for each of your pink cards, including this one, well I don't have any. Uh, and that's more likely to have a heart on it, just, which is just a point. So I'm going to choose the second option, which means they get it as a keepsake, and I'm gonna take it as Nice, one point for each card in your bouquet. Bit lucky, but this is how it goes. Again, one face up and one face down. The daisy, one point for each of your other cards without a heart. That would be this one. They want no hearts. So this will either be two face up or two face down. I'm gonna place this one as a face up and then that one has to be a face up. One point for each of their purple cards. Ah, well. Uh, okay, one face up up yes one face down one point for each of your different color cards so in mine that would give me one two three points if i kept it or something i don't know now face up or face down oh i see with this symbol so here it was just the bouquet or the person for bouquet i keep it this way i have to if i want a bouquet i have to take the card this face up and give my opponent the face down one as a keepsake so I can't change what the cards are. So it's a slightly different symbol. I want cards in my bouquet, but I am gonna to have to discard one. So I might as well take that one because then I know it's not purple for them. Okay, so I'm gonna take that one. It has to be staying face down. Uh, and they get the face up one. So that's the end of the first round. We're only gonna do three rounds. And then just for logistical purposes, we just offset the bouquet versus the keepsakes and then flip the keepsakes so that we know which they were. I have two before scoring ones. Before scoring, you may draw two cards. If you do, you must replace one of your cards with one of them. And it can be that one, as is in the rules here. Um, so I am going to activate this, so I'm going to draw two cards. Uh, one point for each of your, each card in your bouquet. Two points if you exactly two cards in your bouquet. I'm actually going to replace this one with this one, and that one gets discarded. And then, before scoring, you must discard one of your other cards. I'm going to discard that one. Yes, I'm going to discard that one. So this is my hand for the end. So first we count hearts, one, two, three, so that's three points. Uh, I've already activated that. And then one point for each card in your bouquet, so three, four, five. 
and then plus two points if you have exactly two cards in your bouquet, which I do now. Uh, so it's three, four, five, six, seven points for me for the first round. Okay, not great. And then we look at our opponent. Plus three points if you have, wow. Plus three points if you have no hearts and they've actually gained no hearts. That's unusual. So they've got three. One point for each of your pink cards, including this one. So they're on four. One point for each of your purple cards. It's five, six. Wow, one point for each of your, I've done this badly, six, seven, eight. They get nine, that's that's bad. That is a bad start, especially since for the second round, they get to keep one of these cards and they will have a bigger hand next time because the game assumes that you'll have done better and so it's ramping up the difficulty, but it's not going well so far. So they will have this one as well, but they'll get four more. Uh, so all the cards come back other than that. We shuffle it up and we continue. That was round one. I am already behind. Uh, I don't need to win each round, although there's two levels of victory. It's, what is it called? Uh, ba -ba Winning the game. Successful if your total points are higher than your opponents or masterful if you won all three rounds. So I cannot master this but we'll see if I can at least be successful. Maybe, maybe not. Oh wow, they got the plus three points that they have no hearts. So I definitely want to give them hearts. So let's flip this next card, two face up, pink rose, each of your pinks including this one, and this card counts as any one color. I want to give them hearts. So, oh, because I've given them face up, this has to be a face down or they're both face down. So either way, the one I choose will be face down. I'm going to make them both face down, because why not? Okay, this one is slightly different. Deal one face up and one face down, and then it says discard one card from the top of the deck face up, just to thin through it a bit. And then I choose either one and then can flip it either way. And then your, my opponent, whichever one they take, it has to stay that way. So I've currently got one point for each, including so that's pink cards, different color cards, or unknown. Ah, <sighs> can I look at it before I place it? I doubt it. Mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna random chance it. Uh, but I'm going to flip it. Look at that. What wonderful luck. That has to stay face up. Um, so we're halfway through this round. So we shuffle. Still go through uh, this deck twice. Because there are six cards. And um, 12 turns face up. Wow, it's the one on the picture. What are the chances? One in 18. Um, ba -ba -dum. No effect, but a heart. I want them to get hearts, they've already got a heart, each of the different colours, so that's giving them points because it'll be an extra different colour, but I do want pinks. Do I? Yes. No, I'm gonna, I am going to take that one, and it has to stay that way because that's what the card dictated. Two face up, this will be the last card of this round, and then, so this is the one pink, I get to replace one for each of your keepsakes hmm so they'll get two points for this because it's got an effect that they can't use or they'll get two points from this but i'll get two points from this and i will random chart i'll get at least uh, I'll get, yeah, at least a point, maybe more, but the point will balance out the one I get rid of. Oh. I'm going to take the gamble because that's what I do. Okay, they're going to get that. So they've got five, I've got four. Again, let's offset and flip because I've forgotten. Uh, there we go, that's those two there. So before scoring, I get to draw two cards. If I do, I must replace one of your cards with them. So I'm gonna draw these two, and this is pink, which is good. 
and I have, oh, that's a perfect one. Look at that. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, but they'll still probably do quite well. One point for each of my pink cards, says the pink rose, uh, including this one. So it's, uh, let's do hearts first. One, two, three. Nice. Plus four is seven. No effect. Uh, plus two points if you have exactly two. So eight, nine. And I've already done that. So I get nine this turn, which puts me up to 16. And let's see what they score. Plus three if they have no hearts. Not true. So they've got two hearts. So it's two points. This counts as any color. And it says in the rules, it counts as the one. Um, but, but, uh, where is it? If the opponent's arrangement, if it's in the opponent's, counts as the color that scores them the most points. Okay. Uh, one point for each different color. So that would count as one, two, three, four, because this would count as red or pink for the sake of how that works. So that's four, five, six uh, for each heart on adjacent cards. So that's none. So they get seven, eight. So they're on 17. So I've cut their lead slightly. But again, they will get two cards from this to keep for the final round. So I'm a point behind, so I need to outscore them by at least two points. I don't know how that will happen, but we will see. So they will get the forget-me-not, and these are always face-up cards. Three points ahead, they have no hearts. They've had that every time. And one point for each heart on cards adjacent to this one, which is none. Perfect. So in theory, that cannot benefit them at all. So just four more turns, and we will see if I have managed to win, which at this stage seems unlikely, because I'm not very good at it. Here we go. What do we do first? One face up, one face down, one point for each of your purple cards. Well, I can't give them that. Um, I'm going to take it as a... So whatever I take it as, they take it as, as well. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's already canceled out. Perfect, they're scoring nothing. So it doesn't matter. Oh, that's actually quite good. I'm gonna take this one as face up and this one as face up. There's that orchid again. Uh, okay, what's next? Two face up, pink rose, one point for each pink or just two straight points. So I don't want to give them that because that orchid will count as a pink, but that's just two straight points. And I'm, I'm gonna take two straight points. Am I? Because uh, it's one point to me, but two points to them, or two points to me and two points, to, yeah, that's better. Um, yep, so they get that. Here we go, penultimate. Face up, face down. And each of the pink, so I don't want to give them pink. I want to, oh, I can flip it. So I'm gonna put this as that, and then that one stays as that. So I don't know what they got there. And then finally, a honeysuckle, one point for each of your adjacent cards, this one in your bouquet. So that's not gonna score either of us points. And face down, but it's got heart on it. They've already got hearts. I don't know what this is. What's this one? Mm-hmm. So I can take either of them and arrange them however I want. I'm going to take this one like that. So let's bring down theirs. That's a marigold. Wow. And they just get two points for that. So I've I've lost, I would imagine. So hearts, I've got three, and then four, five, six six because I have two in there and seven I only get seven so I finish on 23 which is weak and they've already beaten me have they this counts for nothing but a point oh it counts as a point uh two three four five <laughs> okay five but nothing else, nothing else counts as any color. Six, seven, no. And then that doesn't score, that doesn't score. So they get seven. So they win by one 
blooming point. 23 to 24. It was a bad first round. I mounted some kind of comeback. Um, and hopefully you'll put in the comments that my maths is terrible and actually I won, which would be wonderful, but I don't think so. So that's the solo version of Tussie Mussy. Very simple, very nice uh, cards. The expansion just adds these. Um, I don't typically like AI, but it works for this because it's my choice on both sides. Yes, there's the sum of the random luck about um, face down cards. I never know what they are until the end. I can always check my own, but I can't check theirs. So it's a nice balance. It fills the time nice and fun. Do check it out. That is Tussie Mussy with the Flower Shop expansion. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you stay updated when we put out new content. Check out my other playthroughs. Um, do follow us on social media. Just search Win Some Loose More on the usual platforms and you will find us. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Dieter for Win Some Loose More. Goodbye.